Yeah, well, the plan today is to try to get some sort of containment, really any containment, before the winds pick up later today. And we've just noticed them starting to pick up now this morning. That was a really big problem when it started yesterday around 6.30 in the evening. It grew very quickly. At one point, 800 homes were threatened. But evacuations west of Veo in the Brookside community have been lifted. Highway 18 is back open and with a red flag warning still in place today, these weather conditions aren't going to help. Today we're in a red flag warning. We're expecting winds to pick up this afternoon. Um, with that, we have to watch out for firefighters safety and the spread of this fire to the west. Now there's a new group of firefighters that have come in here. It's a type three. That is a larger group that was here yesterday. They're a little bit more specialized and they'll have crews both on the ground and up in the air to try and really gain the upper hand on this fire that has grown to 4,000 acres since 6.30 last night. Reporting live in Washington County this morning, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.